Good afternoon, guys. It is June 26, 2018, and today, approximately lunchtime, if you are following me on Instagram, you will know that this channel, Old Car Auto Guy, reached 200 subscribers. And I'm so pleased and so excited, and I want to thank everybody that is a subscriber. And those of you who are watching that aren't subscribers, I encourage you to click that subscription button down at the bottom in the bell notification. Uh, that way, you can see all the videos that I upload. It was a big milestone for me. 200 subscribers. Not just 200 subscribers, but 60 videos. The video that went live at noon today was my 60th upload. And that says a lot. Um, you know, I, I, I've said it before, I have a lot of fun uh, with these videos. And, you know, some of them are a little serious, some of them are funny, some of them are a little bit in between. Um, I want to do more, I want to do better, I want to gain subscribers, I want to entertain and have fun. Uh, that's what this channel is all about. Uh, it's not about trying to get to the point of getting money off of YouTube. Uh, if, it, Like I said before, if it gets there, uh, great, I'll take it, but my goal is simply to have fun, entertain, and promote my business, Old Car Auto Sales. So. Thanks again to everybody. Um, it's been so much fun and I really enjoyed doing this and I appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs up, and those of you who follow me on Instagram as well, um, uh, all the congratulations are much appreciated there as well. So without further ado, here is your next upload. Well, good morning guys. It's Monday morning and we're starting off another work week. And today, I'm in the Kia Sorento. We are on our way to Carstar to drop this off and get a couple of dents repaired. This is the 15 Sorento that we bought last Thursday and it does have a couple of dents so they're going to do what's called PDR or paintless dent repair. Um, and we'll see what it looks like when it comes back. They should have it for maybe a day or so. So now we do have the 2015 Kia Sorento back from Carstar and the work that they did is amazing. When we bought the car, it had a nice crease right along here and it had a dent right in there. Almost as if something had bumped into it or slid into it somehow. But one thing that I told you earlier is that they were going to do a paintless dent repair, but unfortunately, um, because it's like a double wall right in here and up in here, they couldn't get into it very easily, so they wouldn't have been able to do a good repair. So they ended up um, uh, popping this out as best they could from the outside, as well as out here, uh, and then obviously you end up having to fill uh, what you can't repair. But all in all, they did a very good job, and you can't even tell the difference, and the paint matches very well. And usually what they do when they have to paint just a small area is they will blend it in somewhere where they didn't do any body work, and then clear a little bit more forward um, with the clear. But I think they did a really good job. So tomorrow, we'll get this back to the shop, and Junior can take at it get it cleaned up, get it buffed and polished, and should be ready for the lot in no time. As yet another update on the Kia Soul. Uh, not much has changed since I talked about it in my last video, except for the valve cover is coming off, the timing cover is coming off to realign those timing marks, and possibly by the end of today, we'll have this thing running. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> She's purring like a kitten. Hey Tim. <laughs> and there she is under her own power. The end of Monday and right last thing, I managed to put a deal together on the 14 Ford Escape and I get to drive this baby home. Why? Because it starts now. Okay, you ready? Watch this, watch, watch.
I am beyond excited to finally have this Kia Soul running and driving again. I'm gonna drive it for a couple of days myself just to make sure that we can get any bugs worked out of it that may have been there from uh, taking everything apart. So um, again, I'm just I'm super excited to finally be able to drive this car once again. I'll have to look back in my books to see when it was the last time this car was moved, but I'm, I'm, my guess is sometime back in February uh, when we lost the keys during a snowstorm. So anyways, uh, I'm headed home. guys it is official this area right here is to be developed and one of the items that's coming here is a hotel not just a hotel but a and gas bar along with it so quite a while ago in one of my videos I was here and I told you I had a secret I knew what it was then but I can finally tell you it's coming out in a press release this week so those of you who are local will know exactly what I'm talking about uh, and where this property is and be excited that finally a hotel is coming to our town and the biggest reason why this is such exciting news for our town is not only are we just a small town of less than 5,000 people but we don't have any big name brand hotels in our area you know, we don't have even a Howard Johnson's or a Best Western or um, Marriott or whatever you want to call it. Um, but we will have something very soon. The details on the hotel are still to be uh, announced, but um, I, another reason why this is so exciting is because approximately four years ago, a developer came to St. Stephen and said that they were going to build a hotel down on the waterfront. Uh, big announcements, big plans, and everything looked great. But up until this point, still no hotel. So it's been a running joke almost within the community about when this hotel is going to get built, when's it going to get built. Uh, and here we are today on June the 25th, 2018. We can finally say it's officially going to happen. And not just because it's a bunch of malarkey, but as some of you may know, some of you don't, I sit on town council. I'm a counselor, so I know a lot of the behind the scenes things that go on, and I can assure you that we are on the up and up and we are legit when we can announce this and say it's going to happen. I'm so excited. I know this has nothing to do with Old Car Auto Guy or the vlog that I normally would put out, but. It's more for the sake of the local people who know uh, how important it is to our community that's growing to see this happen. So we just got to work in the 2012 Kia Soul. And uh, so I decided before I got to work, I would take it out on the highway, see how it worked and make sure that uh, you know all the, everything was the way it was, should be. So I put uh, roughly about 20 kilometers on it and I get back in uh, off the highway, pulling out onto the, our main road here and had a little bit of an exhaust leak. Besides the exhaust leak, uh, everything seems to be working as normal. And, uh, you know, that could just be a loose bolt or something like that on a flange somewhere uh, when we were putting everything back together. So overall, I'm, I'm impressed with the way this thing works. It's got, uh, you know, a decent amount of power for a little four-cylinder. And I mean, I really like these cars anyway. The Kia Soul uh, seems to have, uh, you know, lots of headroom for someone tall like me. Uh, decent amount of leg room, pretty comfortable, it's got heated seats, and uh, you know, I wouldn't hesitate to take this car, um, you know, anywhere so on a long trip and, and not uh, have to worry about uh, not being comfortable. So, as it sits right now, we'll get the exhaust leak looked after, and uh, I'm going to continue driving it for a few days. We'll put a couple hundred kilometers on it, make sure that everything's working the way it should be, and uh, likely get her back on a lot by the end of next week. So, I think the Kia Saga is over. So, uh, Thanks for keeping up with uh, with all the uh, challenges that we face with this thing. But uh, if you're looking for the full story, I'm going to put a playlist of uh, all the Kia Soul update videos uh, so you can follow along right from start to finish. 
So guys, that is it for this video. Once again, I want to thank you for helping me reach a goal of 200 subscribers. Now we're on to the next one, 300. And I can't get there without you guys. If you see a video that you like, share it. Don't forget to tell your friends and let everybody know about the channel, Old Car Auto Guy. Again, we have a ton of fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for telling everybody about Old Car Auto Guy. We'll see you in the next upload. So guys, thank you for, th for, th for, th for, th for telling all your friends and family and even your dog, your cat, your grandmother. Thanks. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad that, I'm so glad that you're turned on. That you tuned in. Oh, this is never gonna make it. That. Thank you. With this glitter, I want to thank you, Kevin. Oh shoot! I'm definitely gonna have to make a blooper reel.